continue to celebrate Women's History Month here on Six in the Mix, meet the very impressive Janice Muller. I don't keep secrets from you, Margaret. It's affecting our marriage, Lucian. The sweetest girl sort of throws you into the mill of a, of a much longer story. So the short that you have, you know, because I know the writer, I have an awareness of where that is in the full scale. And that's just a teeny tiny bit of the whole story. I feel like you're holding something back from me. I always find that short films are very intellectual and as short as they are, they're very meaningful and powerful during those short minutes that you're going to be watching them. What is the goal for this short film, The Sweetest Girl? The goal probably from more like from the producer writer's perspective is to enlighten people. I think to educate people is a huge thing for the for uh, Yana Sadisuvia who wrote the, the project and produced the project. That he wants people to be exposed to that information. There's a lot going on in Haiti and the film obviously touches on that. Is was that one of the things as well to get people to, to to kind of see in the forefront of what is happening in the country? Yeah, a little bit of it. It does, you know, it touches on mm -hmm. some of the things that are going on. You know, just enough. It's definitely in the back so that you, you have a, a little bit of an awareness. What is it like for someone as yourself, a composer, to be part of a film when you're actually composing the music that goes and the sounds that we hear with this film? The process starts for me, you know, by watching the film, getting a feeling for what's happening, and just trying to help further bring that to life. You know, that's really what, what it's about. Scoring is in support of what's already is there. You know, it's to make more of what's there to help the audience understand better. Shannon, some people are gonna say that I buried the lead because you are a Hurricane, right? The you went to UN? <laughs> the you. You got me right? You got me a little worried there. I was like, she did, right? <laughs> well, you went above the screen and I suddenly couldn't see your hand. And I was like, wait. What is she doing? What is she doing? Yes. How was your experience being at the University of Miami and how much do you credit them for your success? Okay, so, you know, here's the thing. I'm lucky that I went to you, you know, and UM is a very creative space musically. You know, it's very different than going to a standard um, conservatory or anything like that. They let you play. And so when I went there, I didn't just study music. I also chose a program that would allow me to study other things. So I studied computing, I studied um, psychology. So I think that it's the environment that, that gives you freedom to do. That makes things that makes things good, you know. It frees you from that classical space that so often you can get stuck in as a, as a classical musician.